Hi all my crafty friends and welcome back to Designs by Gaddis. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. By doing so, you will help others, just like yourself, be able to find my home decor DIY videos. Today, I will be doing something a little different. I have been watching videos on painting and decided to give it a try. I used a Dollar Tree 8x10 canvas and a printout I found online to create this adorable bunny with a floral crown painting. To find an image I liked, I went to Google and searched for bunny with crown coloring pages. I then clicked on images. I searched the images until I found one that I liked. and I saved it to my computer. Next, I went to PicMonkey, created new, scrolled down to 8x10 print size, and clicked on it. I loaded the file I had just saved from my computer into PicMonkey. Once the image was loaded, I clicked Remove Background and resized the file on the canvas to fit an 8x10 canvas. Before saving the new file, I made the background transparent. I went to the file I just saved and printed it. For the painting, I am using Master's Touch acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby, but you can use any acrylic or craft paint. I mixed white and blue together to create the background. Since I was painting a larger area, I used a two inch brush for the background. With the acrylic paint I'm using, you have to keep it wet. So I dipped my brush into the water to add a little water to the paint and then painted the canvas, including the sides. I painted years ago and forgot how relaxing it can be. I didn't do much painting on canvas. I did hand painted wood signs and really, really enjoyed doing them. I used my hot air gun to dry the canvas. You can use a hair dryer or allow the canvas to dry on its own. I used a piece of carbon paper to trace the image onto the canvas. I placed the carbon paper onto the canvas and then placed the image on top of it. After I aligned the image on the canvas, I used a piece of painter's tape to hold the image in place while I traced it. I used a pencil and traced the outline of the bunny. At this time, I'm not tracing the flower and I didn't trace the details in the ears. And this is what the traced image looked like on the canvas. I originally was going to paint the bunny pink but decided to go with gray. I mixed white and red together to create pink for the ears. I painted the inside of the ears and used my hot air gun to dry the paint. And then added a second layer to the ears. I used burnt umber for the eyes and the outline. And continue painting the bunny. I didn't like the paint, but kept going with it thinking I would like it by the end. When I finished, I realized I didn't like the pink at all. So I mixed up some white and burnt umber to create a gray color. I used the gray on the entire bunny, except for the inside of the ears. I left them pink. And I did paint over the trace lines but I could see them through the gray so I could go back over them later. After drying the gray with my hot air gun, 
I went back in with burnt umber and traced the lines. I tried to keep the lines thin, but as you can see, that wasn't the case in all the areas. I used white on the eyes to give it a little gleam and then went back in with the different colors to thin the outlines. Add whiskers and to touch up the paint. When I was finished, I used a little storage bottle to save the excess pink paint because I had actually mixed up way too much. I allowed the paint to dry overnight. I lined up the printed bunny as close as I could and traced over the flowers and the leaves. For the flowers and leaves, I experimented with different mixtures of colors. For the leaves, I mixed white, green, and yellow. And then painted them in. I wanted to use some of the original pink I had mixed up, so I used some of it and mixed it with blue and red to get this purple and started painting in the purple flower. I started with yellow for the sunflower, but it was just too transparent. So I added a little white and painted over the yellow flower. I mixed red and white again to get a reddish pink color for the rose. I added some white to the leaf green to create a lighter green for the veins and the leaves. I used some burnt umber to add some hair to the inside of the ears and used the dry brush method to give some dimension to the bunny's body. I also used the burnt umber to give the rose some dimension. I mixed the burnt umber, light green, and red to create the brown for the sunflower. And I just kept playing with the flowers until I was happy with the painting. I love this little bunny painting, and I can't believe I did it myself. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned that it's not that hard to paint. You can find all kinds of videos on YouTube that will show you more. I just wanted to show you what I came up with for this spring. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly home decor DIY videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting!